Hi Pisces! Welcome to the Gypsies Tower. We're doing your love reading for the week. I hope I'm finding you well. Remember if this reading resonates, so please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsies Tower. Links below in the description. So what is happening around Pisces in love or in general? What do they need to know this week? We've got friends. We've got stalking. And we've got regret. At the bottom, we have got unexpected visitor. What's behind that? Party, liquid courage. Um, I'm getting there could be a party here where someone shows up unexpectedly. You could be kicking it with friends. This is someone that keeps tabs on you that you might know about or someone that feels like they missed their chance with you in the past. Okay, let's clarify. Someone might regret what they've done I, let's just get into it because i'm not <laughs> i'm not doing that today what is friends for pisces oh marriage forever commitment okay so this could be a friendship that turns into more or you're celebrating maybe this is a bachelorette party bachelor party what's stalking it looks like someone's stalking a relationship you're in family children building a home Mm. What is regret? Overthinking triggered mental prison. And at the bottom we have longing, missing you, desiring the connection, fast movement, nostalgia. Look at the camera. Past love, past memories, thinking about old times. So someone sees you with someone that they feel like you have this amazing bond with. You guys are like best friends. They are like watching your relationship, maybe through social media or just in general, like a bitch is in the bush or something. <laughs> and they just have regret, like they're kicking themselves in the ass for letting you get away because they, they feel how good it could have been. Mm, what is this? We got healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care and being happier. Yeah, that's exactly it. You're happier and they know it. Yep. We got acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. And so they're watching and watching you build this family or this home or this deep commitment to someone else. And then we got the Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and a changed mind. Yeah, this person's changed the way they feel now. They're triggered by your your new life. And then we have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know with girl talk in the reverse. Yeah, because you're not single. You have this insane chemistry with someone else now, and it's driving them insane, but oh well. <laughs> you're making healthier choices in your love life, and this could lead to a serious commitment for you. And this person just can't let go. They're watching you, like, move on to the next phase of your life with someone else. Let's take a look with the tarot for my Pisces. What is coming up for Pisces this week in love? I just saw the King of Pentacles with the Two of Cubs. What does Pisces need to know in love this week? Okay, we got the Two of Swords in the reverse. And Temperance. Yeah, this is like you making those healthy choices in your life. Mentally, physically, emotionally. Your guides are around you as well. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but you don't have to be. You're just out of your head in a situation. The lovers, ooh, Pisces, with the three of pentacles in the reverse. So this could have been someone that had you in a third party in the past, but now they're watching you. They were very egotistical and selfish, uncooperative, and now they see you with someone else and very happy. It's a shock to them with the tower at the bottom. The five of cups, yeah, they're like mourning. Because they put you in that third party in the past. This could have been, again, someone around you too in your group that's not a part of it anymore. And they feel like you don't have time for them and they're jealous of your relationship. Mm. And you're no longer single. Because this is the Nine of Pentacles. So this person cannot come in or try to find balance with you and they know that. But they were the ones that were selfish in the past. So that's what they get. What's the outcome? The high priestess. There you are. Yeah, they're sneaking around. I feel like trying to get information on you, stuck in their head about you, probably talking shit on your new connection, but no one's listening to them because they know they're just obsessed with you. Let's clarify. 
I'm hearing you're so much more balanced now. Work is looking good for you too. Your intuition is going to be on fire this week. My mystical and sympathetic Pisces. You're so sweet. What's the two, when you want to be? <laughs> What's the two of swords in the reverse with temperance? Wow, the two of cups in the reverse. And the hero found the reverse. It's like, yeah, you <laughs> get like, maybe in the past, yeah, you weren't listening to your intuition with this person. And you're so glad this did not work out and that you have this more balanced connection now. Like you're glad that that break, breakup happened in the past, period. What's the lovers with the three of pentacles? The high priestess in the reverse and strength in the reverse. Yikes, with the ace of swords. They're forced to see the truth for trying to manipulate you in the past. For trying to strip you of your power and make you feel like you weren't listening to your intuition when they were the cheater and they were the liar. That's what I'm hearing. You always knew the truth. And now they're forced to see it too. Yeah, with this fake-ass emperor who was messing with you, has to see you happy with a family dynamic. They could even be a manipulative Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, possible Aries, maybe a Gemini. Yeah, a cycle is complete. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. What's the Five of Cups with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse? Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. Someone is so sad that you got your power. You're so strong right now. You've cut them off. Your cut off game is amazing. Yeah, they were unsuccessful in bringing this stress to your life. And it's not a missed opportunity for you. It's a missed opportunity for them. And they feel like, why didn't I step up and see Pisces for who they were in the past? Mm -hmm. What is the High Priestess? The Four of Pentacles in the reverse and the Eight of Wands. It's like you might be receiving a lot of download. You already know that this person emotionally can't walk away from you, but you have fully released them and stepped into new love for some of you here. And it led you down the road you wanted to go because this person from the past didn't love you. They were stuck in their ways. They always needed attention. Yep. Let's see what's hidden from you. What do you need to know? What's hidden from my Pisces? Oh, yeah, they're mad. Temperamental anger issues, acting out. Salty, feeling worried, bitter, and dramatic, jealous. And in it to win it, long-term intentions invested. Yeah, they're, they're really upset because maybe they didn't think you and this person would, you know, stay together. And you have. Maybe you've been together with this person for eight months, eight years. I don't know. But that's what I'm picking up here. And uh, you let that other person go. So now they're all bitter about it. Mm-hmm. So this person might want to act out because they're in regret and they're triggered, but it's nothing for you to worry about. You're going through a new phase in your life and you've changed big time. It says loneliness, secluded, cut off, soul searching. They don't like being alone. They're very codependent. Then we have closeness, intimacy, belonging, mutual feelings. Yeah, they're mad you and this person have this deep bond and that you've moved on from them. What is long haul in it to win it? <laughs> Glow up, self-love, a new you, big positive change. Woo! I love this reading for you, Pisces. What's at the bottom? Happy single, not looking for love. Focus on goals, trusting the journey. And you did. And you found what you were looking for. And that's what I got here, too. Mm -hmm. And you created healthy boundaries for yourself, for these people that were hiding their intentions behind the scene. What needs to be said? What should Pisces know about this? Let me be the warmth you need to survive the cold. So you could be meeting this person soon, okay? You could be spending the winter months with someone if it's cold in your climate. Doesn't have to be. It says, I see you evolving into the woman I want to be with or man. And I see myself having children with you. Yeah, you're going to build a whole family with this new person. And at the bottom we have, you're the one I've always wanted by my side. Mm. I feel like that's wishful thinking for this person who sees what they've missed. And it's probably because you're doing so well for yourself that all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let's see what zodiac signs you could be dealing with, Pisces. Damn, I got too many, but that's okay. We got Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, Aries, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what else you need to know about this. And then we'll pull your advice card. 
So what does Pisces need to know about this situation? It says battle wounds, an ongoing battle, weary, guarded, hurt, and past relationships. So maybe you're, you are afraid of marriage, but you won't be once you meet this person. I feel like you'll heal each other. Sleepless nights, lack of sleep, breaking point, all-consuming worries, but that's not your problem. That's someone else who's mourning you. And radiant sun, confidence, success, enthusiasm, optimism, and fulfillment. This person is forced to see you happy. That's their karma for trying to manipulate you. They might have even went to a fake high priestess that told them they could do some kind of binding spell to get you back. And hell no, they can't. Twin flame is at the bottom. Yes, they are your twin flame, yin and yang, life forever changed with trouble lurking, red flags, lies, deception, bad intentions. So they're just, like I said, hot-headed, salty that you found what you've been looking for. And you're vibrating so high with that radiant sun. What is the advice for my Pisces to close out the reading? What do you want Pisces to know in this reading? Spring Tide. I really like this card. This is a new you that's blooming, Pisces. Okay, it says... The court of the fairies dance at the dawn of a new spring. The buds are blo blossoming. <laughs> I can't talk. The buds are blossoming at a time of ease, and a time of ease is upon you. Rest now, as you have traversed the long winter, and are in need of nourishment and refreshment. Celebrate now, as good things are coming your way. Enjoy all that life has given you, and all that is to come. For spring is truly here. Okay. So there could be a relationship that starts in the winter months that evolves in the spring, but I just feel like there's a new you happening in between that time. And you're taking this old version of yourself and these old people that you held close to your heart and you're realizing they're not good for you. And your intuition is pushing you fast into this glow up, into this new closeness and intimacy with other people that are more worthy of your time. So, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I love, love, love you. Bye.